This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good Monday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Don Brennan along with Josh Stone, who's in for John Scalzi on this day after Christmas, which a lot of people are celebrating as Christmas, yeah. like companies and schools are off because uh, this is their Christmas day off and right. everybody's going to be shopping. Right, and some pretty good weather expected today for those that have a day off, right? Yeah, pretty much. And yesterday for Christmas Day, I mean, we topped out at 85 degrees. Wow. That was tying a record here on the Sun Coast. Our average, 72. So well above that. Mm -hmm. wow. And once again, we're going to have nice weather today, especially for the snowbirds. Let's check out the current temperature right now. 66 degrees, clear skies, dew point at 64. 93% is the humidity. So it's a little muggy out there. We're going to continue to continue to have that easterly, southeasterly wind today. Uh, radar is quiet. That's going to be the case throughout the day. A few sprinkles off the east coast of Florida, but that's about it. And once again, we're calling for mostly sunny skies, highs topping out well above average. But things look to change by the end of this work week, and we'll talk about it in a few minutes from now. All right, taking a look at the roadways. As I said, schools are off. A lot of businesses are closed, government and offices. Uh, but the, you see a little volume picking up coming over the Green Bridge and also on 301 and uh, Southeast 15th Street there. But uh, Manatee County looking good. No accidents or delays. Just a little more volume than there has been in the past hour. And now the same thing is holding true for Sarasota County. 75, 301, 41, all moving along nicely with not a lot of people on the roadway. All right, well, this morning, deputies with the Manatee County Sheriff's Office are looking for information into a drive-by shooting that left one person injured in Bradenton. Yeah, the victim and two other people were hanging out at a home on 18th Street East yesterday when they say they saw a white vehicle circling the block. The car stopped in front of the house and someone inside allegedly fired a single gunshot. 27-year-old Michael Turner was struck in the leg and transported to the hospital where he is now in stable condition. If you have any information on this incident, you're asked to contact the Manatee County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. The number right there on your screen. And the Manatee County Sheriff's Office is also investigating how a possible meth lab ended up at the scene of a fire over the weekend. The fire broke out on Saturday in the Oneka area at the former Mexico. Mexicana flea market near 15th Street and 57th Avenue East. Officials believe the space was being used by squatters since the property was abandoned and up for sale. During a follow up investigation yesterday, firefighters found what they described as a possible meth lab, which they say had not been there the day before. Patrol units are now assisting the department in finding the cause of that fire. And Manatee County deputies are also looking for four suspects linked to an armed robbery after two men say they were ambushed while getting out of their car. It happened Saturday night on 13th Street East in front of one of the victim's homes. Four men on bicycles allegedly rushed the car and pointed the guns at the victims, hit them and then took their cell phones and wallets. The victims were taken to the hospital for minor injuries. If you have any information on this incident, you're asked to call the Manatee County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. And another big story we're following this morning. Millions of people beginning their journey back home after the holiday and the weather once again bringing in more messy commutes and a lot of flight troubles. And ABC's Janai Norman shows us which areas are getting hit the worst. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I love this white Christmas. Winter weather making for a white Christmas and tough travel the day after. We're happy and we're making silly faces and we're singing Christmas songs mm -hmm. to get the time going. In Arizona, snow brought two major highways to a standstill. Cars, trucks and drivers stranded along Interstate 40 outside of Flagstaff. I don't know, I'm just waiting. That's all I can do, right? Getting home or to the mall could be tricky today across the country. In the northern plains, it's a slippery mess where freezing rain turned to snow. Transportation officials in the Dakotas shutting down more than 600 miles of roadway along Interstate 90, I-94, and U.S. Highway 83 because of drifting snow and near zero visibility. Some of those same areas under a blizzard warning and could get more than two feet of snow. Rain and possible storms could move through Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. I hope I can get home. 
The winter weather wasn't just packed with snow and freezing rain, but also high winds. In Nebraska, about 800 people lost power, and there were reports of a possible tornado. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. And although Christmas may be over and Hanukkah is ongoing, today is still being recognized as a holiday, so there are some closures you need to be aware of. Yeah, both Sarasota and Manatee County government offices will be closed in observance of the Christmas holiday. The Florida Department of Health in Sarasota is also closed, and county libraries are closed as well. And with the holidays in full swing, a lot of local nonprofits are seeing a sharp spike in donations and volunteers this time of year. But charities say more needs to be done to get help throughout the rest of the year as well. Yes, uh, obviously uh, spotlight shone, shone mm -hmm. on the holidays, but then they uh, get slow. All Faith Food Bank providing about 7,000 turkeys and fresh produce to those in need around the holidays. Officials with the food bank say while it's Christmas, it's an important time to remember. Others, you, well, you still need to think about the next day as well. Staff at the Salvation Army also says there is a sharp decline in donations following the holidays. And the executive director at the Harvest House sees a similar trend. It is an opportunity to connect to people who maybe they don't reach out during the rest of the year to hopefully get them to join us throughout, you know, the other 11 months. A study from the Center on Philanthropy found that 43% of people gave more during the holidays than any other time during the year. And a long time tradition on the Sun Coast continued for its 20th year. Yeah, was... super cute story here. 74 year old Chuck Pearson has been creating holiday light displays since he was a kid playing with his family Christmas tree. Well, this year his design includes 90,000 lights that would stretch out four miles if they were laid out flat. And while he enjoys tinkering with the lights, it's the reaction that he looks forward to most. Well, that's what it's all about, and it, it, it brings joy. The whole meaning of the season is the, the joy at this time of the year. Now, this particular light display actually used to be even larger, if you can believe it, with 450,000 lights, Don. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of lights. Yes, a big cat habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary presented a display of their own this holiday weekend. It included the likes of actors, camels, donkeys, and goats. The stars of the show, the baby goats. Yes, 17 baby goats were born just in time to star in the nativity. Yeah, we've had a lot more people out here. The cooler weather is great because it's more comfortable to be walking around. Plus, we have so many people in town now for the holiday. Big Cat Habitat's president, Kate Rozier, saying they try to do the live nativity every year to bring some joy to the Sun Coast when possible. Look at that. And those baby goats came in just in time. Just in time, they did. That was pretty cool. Christmas present to yes. those at the Big Cat Habitat. Yep. <laughs> and taking shelter, it looks like, from the sunshine yeah. yesterday. It was pretty warm Gonna yesterday. <laughs> That's yeah. Good. I'm sure everybody in town is happy that it's 85. You know, you, when right. you come to Florida, you want it to be nice and warm and sunny. Some people like it cooler. But I'll tell you, so I know. Why I would they come here? I was, I was, <laughs> I was in Chicago a week ago. It was uh, negative 30 with oh, a wind chill. Uh, uh. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I like this weather more than mm. up there. <laughs> me too. Just, just me. me too. Too. Anyway, we'll talk about the weather coming up in a few minutes. And still to come on your Sun Coast News. Yes, call in the act. We'll show you what the mom of a toddler was doing and it got her into trouble in Colorado. When caring for my wife alone became too much for me, I called my long-term care insurance company to get help from Granny Nannies. Now the most wonderful nurses help me with her care. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Suncoast.com. Just another way we're here for you. ABC 7's My Suncoast News app is better than ever with a brand new design that's faster and easier to use. Download our free My Suncoast News app on your mobile device at your app store of choice. Powered by the iAssociates, providing sight for life. 
Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe, and they just helped every step of the way, and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service, and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free Senior Care Compass eBook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now, 800-290-0352, 800-290-0352. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Don't miss the 19th Annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th, to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and ridin' at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. Mom needed more care than we could provide, so we called Granny Nannies. She now has around-the-clock caregivers, and we have peace of mind. Thanks to them, she's where she belongs, at home. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Hey, good morning everyone. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone in for John Scalzi. I hope you had a wonderful Merry Christmas yesterday and a happy Hanukkah. And we're going to step out the front door and experience temperatures like this. 66 here in Sarasota, 65 in Venice, a little bit cooler in Arcadia, 59 degrees, 58 in Lake Placid. So upper 50s, low to mid 60s right now. High pressure in control of our weather. Really not a lot going on here in the southeast. Just a few clouds and that's what's going to be the case for today. Expect mostly sunny skies, warm and pleasant conditions. Highs once again topping out in the low to mid 80s this afternoon. Our average for the high at this time of the year is 72. So we're going to be well above that. Going to enjoy that if you're a snowbird. And then by Friday, we're going to have a cold front that comes down from the northwest to cool us down to below average. And we'll show you that temperature in the seven-day forecast in just a few minutes from now. Looking at the radar, it's all quiet thanks to high pressure, so nothing to show you here. But by Thursday night into Friday, I'm kind of foreshadowing what's to come. With this cold front coming down, the radar could have some activity on it. Not a lot, but still We'll have a lot more than what we're showing right now, thanks to just dry air that's above us. As far as our future cast goes, well, we have the clouds rolling in from the east to the west. That's the area of high pressure works clockwise and helping to bring those clouds from the east to the west. But really not a lot of shower activity at all here to show you along the southeastern uh, United States. Just a few high clouds, so we're calling for mostly sunny skies. So where's the action happening? It's up here to the Midwest. It's this uh, system that's bringing some very heavy snow in North Dakota. And it's also dragging up the warm air in front of it. So you have the warm sector of the storm producing some heavy rainfall out in front of it. And as that air wraps around to the backside up here into Canada where it's very cold, well, that moisture turns into snow and it's wrapping around very, very tightly. And that's why we're experiencing some blustery, gusty winds up here in the upper Midwest causing delays here in Chicago and through Minneapolis. If you're heading in that direction, you're expecting some uh, family arriving from those locations. There's probably going to be delays uh, throughout the day. 
But look at this, 8 degrees right now in Minot, North Dakota, 32 in Minneapolis, while it's 53 in St. Louis, because St. Louis is at, in the uh, front part of this storm where that warm air is coming up from the south. Backside of the storm, not so much. It's very chilly. But for us, we're like in paradise. Mostly sunny skies, highs topping out in the low mid-80s today. You're taking the boat out today. Expect the high tide to be at 12.19 p.m. And then for the rest of the boating forecast, easterly, northeasterly winds at 10 knots. Seas just offshore two feet with a light shop in inland waterways. And here is your much-anticipated forecast for the last week of 2016. Low to mid-80s, and then we'll see upper 70s, but still above our average high of 72. Then the cold front comes in by Thursday night, produces a few showers around the area. But look at the high on Friday, only 65. That's below the average high of 72. But we rebound for the first day of 2017 with a high of 77. Thank you, Josh. 65 during the day is too cold. But right now, take a look at roadways. They are, well, heating up a little bit for a day off for most people here. You see on 301 southbound as you cross State Road 70, there is uh, more volume than anywhere else on the Sun Coast. Also coming over from Palmetto down into downtown Bradenton on the Green Bridge. More cars than anywhere else, but uh, not a lot and no accidents or delays to worry about in Sarasota County either. Everything is moving along without any problems now. As parents, we all want to teach our children to do the right thing, right? Of course, and for one mom out in Colorado, she, however, is not exactly leading by example. Molly Hendrickson shows us why. She's not the typical thief. She looks like your typical customer, but Lance Waddell says this mom of the year is anything but. Teaching a kid to steal so young just feels so wrong. But that's what he says happened at Performance Cycle of Colorado Wednesday afternoon when security cameras caught the woman stealing nearly red-handed. This one was just the most shocking, mainly because she had her daughter with her. Video shows the woman walk in, a little girl and her doll in tow. She heads for the gloves, picking up two pairs, rips off the glove header, stashing it in pants, then heads to the fitting room to remove the security tags. We found all the security tags cut off and hidden in another jacket, so we're still not sure how she got these off. Watch as she hides the tags in a jacket. The girl with her seemingly oblivious to what mom is up to the entire time. The pair get away with two pairs of gloves and a black Subaru. Over for them, but not for Wadil. We're a family-owned business, so it would just be nice to, you know, get our expensive glove, gloves back and, you know, maybe have her prosecuted. Oh, that's sad. It's very sad, yeah. but... Uh... Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. Yeah, three days after falling ill on a flight, actress Carrie Fisher remains in the hospital today. We'll have an update on her condition next. It's been an emotional time politically and socially this year. But during a season when hearts are a little more open to love, we want to talk about good things to believe in. We believe in compassion and caring. We believe diversity makes our community stronger. We believe we can all weather the storm by sticking together. We believe in finding the facts before taking a stance. We hope you believe too. Happy holidays from ABC7, your Suncoast News. At SWC Properties, we pride ourselves in providing to you the very best in customer satisfaction and the secrets getting out. Maybe that's why so many people have chosen to list their homes with our friendly and qualified agents. After all, it only makes sense to list with a growing agency that markets in so many places. To list your home with SWC, give us a call at our office and ask for Teresa Witt. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring with over $126 million in prizes. Use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope. 
and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Welcome back at 621. Actress Carrie Fisher remains hospitalized after suffering a cardiac episode during a flight. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has the latest on her condition. In this morning's GMA First Look, Carrie Fisher in the hospital, surrounded by family after an in-flight medical emergency. Fisher's famous mother, Debbie Reynolds, at her bedside, tweeting this update. Carrie is in stable condition. If there is a change, we will share it. For all her fans and friends, I thank you for your prayers and good wishes. We have an unresponsive passenger. The 60-year-old reportedly stopped breathing Friday on a flight from London to L.A. just 15 minutes before landing. The L.A. Fire Department rushing to the tarmac, finding Fisher in cardiac arrest. Fisher taken to intensive care, where her daughter, seen in this TMZ video, arrived later that evening. Fisher's brother telling ABC News she's obviously a very tough girl who survived many things. I encourage everyone to pray for her. And coming up at 7 a.m., the latest on Carrie Fisher with your GMA First Look. I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. I have a cold with this annoying runny nose. I better take something. Dayquil liquid gels doesn't treat a runny nose. It doesn't? Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough liquid gels fight your worst cold symptoms, including your runny nose. Oh, what a relief it is. Yeah. Watch it! Never hit me with a hook, yeah? They don't want us to do plans. So what we gonna do? Silk. I don't want to put life on hold because of a headache. That's why I use Excedrin. It has two pain fighters plus a booster. And for some, headache relief starts in just 15 minutes. Now, moments lost to headaches are moments gained with Excedrin. It's been an emotional time politically and socially this year. But during a season when hearts are a little more open to love, we want to talk about good things to believe in. We believe in teamwork and building trust. We believe every cloud has a silver lining. We believe in treating everyone with respect. We believe in being kind, no matter how busy the day is. We hope you believe, too. Happy Holidays from ABC7, your Suncoast News. On your TV, on your computer, on your camera, on your smartphone, on your Apple Watch. 
And now you can get ABC7, your Suncoast News on Fire TV. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab for a list of fast and free downloads that deliver ABC7, your Suncoast News on the go. ABC7 is proud to present Line Dance Central. Now you can learn popular country and not so country line dances from the comfort of your own home. Just visit mysuncoast.com, click on entertainment, and you'll be kicking up your boots or flip flops in no time. Brought to you by the White Buffalo Saloon and Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills. Wow! Stop stains and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable, too. My grandkids destroy everything but with couch coat my couch is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now Call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat. Call now or go to couchcoat.com. So call 1-800-943-0710. That's 1-800-943-0710. Call now. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, a country in mourning after nearly 100 people were killed in a plane crash over the Black Sea. We'll tell you what officials say is to blame. Plus, as the East Coast still recovers from Hurricane Matthew, one group saving Christmas for those who were most affected. And a wrong turn and a GPS failure left the family stranded in the Grand Canyon for 30 hours. We'll tell you how they got to safety. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Welcome back and thanks for joining us on this Monday morning. I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Don Brennan, along with Josh Stone, who's in for John Scalzi this morning, and he'll be in later tonight, John Scalzi. He's in for Bob Harrigan, who's off this week. And Everybody's the big switching hurt, roles. Yeah, the, the holiday the shuffle. Chairs, yes. Yes. Exactly, holiday shuffle. Um, yeah, right. the, uh, the, the Grand Canyon story, I'll tell you, like when I was at the Grand Canyon, so one of the rangers told me a story, you know, this was 20 years ago, about the north entrance, how it's, you know, it's set aside. Most people go to the south rim. But the north entrance, somebody did something similar to what we're going to hear about, and the guy got lost, and they found him frozen during the spring thaw, oh, no. kind of like walking, oh, literally no. standing up frozen oh, because uh, not a lot of people were there, and nobody knew he was gone. Right. So I uh, would tell you a little Luckily, story. Luckily, yeah, This one is much here. more successful <laughs> no, than that. No, not at all. But no, I've, I've heard that the North Rim, mm -hmm. it's harder to get to, but yes. it's supposed to be like a 1,000 feet higher and more beautiful. Really? If you can get to it. Yeah, it's yeah. worth it. A little it. more extreme. Yeah. Interesting. Well, warm at the Grand Canyon, especially during the summertime, and it feels like summer outside. You walk outside, and man, temperatures today are going to be very warm, above average. Right now, pretty comfortable. 66 in Sarasota, 63 in Mayaka City, 58 in Arcadia, 56 in Lake Placid. That's the cool spot on the map right now. Our radar remains quiet thanks to high pressure in control. That's going to be the case for the next several days, but there will be a change in our weather as we get into the latter part of this work week. But look at this, mostly sunny skies for the rest of the day. Highs topping out again in the low to mid 80s, looking pretty good. But we'll talk about this change in the weather in just a few minutes. Thanks, Josh. Taking a look at the Sun Coast traffic. Not a lot of it this morning on what is a day off for many people. And you see volume is picking up there on State Road 64, heading west towards Anna Maria and also uh, uh, East of 301 headed towards 75, but not a lot of volume at all anywhere on the Sun Coast at this time in the morning right now. And a lot of people sleeping in, a lot of people getting a lot of rest for the uh, shopping they're about to do and returns for all the Christmas gifts that they you know, may want to you know, <laughs> trade in. But everything's looking good. No accidents or delays. Now, topping our news this half hour, a day of mourning in Russia as people gather to pay respects to those who were killed in a plane crash yesterday. The military plane was carrying members of the Russian Army Choir when it crashed into the Black Sea two minutes 
after takeoff. Unfortunately, all 92 people on board were killed. People now bringing flowers to the choir office and holding vigils throughout Russia. And Russian TV channels have taken entertainment shows off their programs. And outdoor seasonal celebrations have been put to a halt across Russia. Officials say they believe pilot error or a technical fault are to blame for that crash. Back here in the U.S., two people were killed and several others were injured during a Christmas party at a nightclub in New York. The club's owner another vic and another victim were killed after police say the gunman got kicked out of a party at 4.30 in the morning, then came back and opened fire. Four other people were injured in the club. The suspect already had another murder case pending before this shooting. Also in North Carolina, seven people were shot during a private party on a Christmas Eve. More than 250 people were at the party, and when the two masked men started shooting after 2 a.m., it was at a local moose club. Now, witnesses say people had been arguing, but as things calmed down, the shooting began. None of the victims are expected to have life-threatening injuries. The suspects were wearing masks and were able to get away before police arrived. And turning to politics now, it was business as usual over the weekend, despite the holiday. The president and the president-elect may have left Washington and New York behind for their respective holiday getaways, but political sniping punched in for a full day of work on Christmas. Reed Binion reports. It has been the privilege of my life to serve as your commander-in-chief. While President Obama was speaking to troops in Hawaii on Christmas, he was receiving heavy criticism from a close ally. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issuing a scathing rebuke of the Obama administration Sunday and summoning the U.S. ambassador to Israel. This in response to a U.N. resolution condemning Israel's West Bank settlement activity. The U.S. typically uses its Security Council veto power to shield Israel from resolutions that the U.S. sees as overly critical of Israel. This time, the U.S. abstained, allowing the measure to pass. The passage came after a delay in the vote amid pressure from Israel and communications between Trump and Israel, as well as the president of Egypt, the country which sponsored the resolution. Trump's actions sparking criticism that the president-elect is overstepping his pre-inauguration bounds. New criticism over the resolution coming in over the weekend from lawmakers like Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. I will respond in kind. 22% uh, of the United Nations budget comes from the American taxpayer, and I'm going to lead the charge to withhold funding until they repeal this resolution. Republican former House Speaker Newt Gingrich slamming the president Sunday. He's in this desperate frenzy. What he's actually doing is he's setting up a whole series of things to distract Trump. I'm Reed Binion reporting. Well, back here in Florida, the federal government is giving the state $81.5 million in grants to go towards homeless assistance programs. The grants are being awarded by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Now, they'll go towards 319 programs within our state. The largest will be used for the Miami-Dade County Homeless Trust. Officials say the funding will help maintain and expand housing and services for homeless individuals and families, including military veterans. In months after Hurricane Matthew hit the East Coast, officials say that there are about 500 oceanfront homes that are still at risk here in Florida. St. John's County officials say all 42 miles of county beaches suffered erosion from the Category 3 storm. The county has discussed building seawalls, but they are also trying to get more sand to restore beaches and dunes and protect oceanfront homes. Officials said most of Matthew's estimated $151 million in damage to the county's assets occurred at its beaches. Also in North Carolina, families who lost everything in Hurricane Matthew are getting some help this Christmas. A nonprofit group decided to take a group of kids out for what they thought was dinner and a church service. However, instead they were each given $100 to spend on themselves. The real surprise came when many of the kids revealed they wanted to spend the money on other people in need. To see them so thankful, so surprised, but then step out of their comfort zone and their own selves and think, hmm, I just might do something for someone else. You know, that shows how much they've come and how far they've come. Wow, that's amazing. The money was raised by people living in the Raleigh area who wanted to make sure the kids had gifts for Christmas. That, uh, I mean, that just makes you feel good. Here they are, they lost a, a, a lot of what they have, and they get a gift, and then they turn around and give it to somebody else. Yeah, and Pretty. I mean, that's a community that I lived with. I lived there, saw those people who had to deal with some devastating loss there, and um, definitely makes you appreciate what you have and the fact that they're willing to go above and beyond to help others as well when they 
need it more than anything as well. Yes, so. no doubt. One family uh, being very appreciative of what they have because in Arizona, a family back together and safe after they became stranded in the Grand Canyon on the North Rim for 30 hours. Yeah, the family was driving through the Grand Canyon National Park when their GPS stopped working and their car went off the road. Now, the park was actually closed, so their only option was to go out and look for help, of course. 46-year-old Karen Klein was the most fit of her family, so she decided to go while her husband and 10-year-old son stayed in the car. She hiked over 26 miles throughout the night, and when she didn't return, her husband walked until he was able to get cell service. Obviously, he was worried about her. Search crews were able to rescue all three of them, and their family says it probably won't stop them from returning to the park in the future. I do believe that, that she would probably want to go back to actually see it because she didn't get a chance to actually see the Grand Canyon, but she will, I can guarantee you that she won't go in the wind. Now, while Karen is still in the hospital, the rest of the family is all okay. Yeah, she's an ultra marathon runner and a, a no triathlete. Wonder. That's why they sent her. But uh, they found the child and the father first uh, because they had been looking for him. Right. But the road was actually closed for that reason that more snow was coming. So they were real worried if they didn't get him when they got him that they might not find him until right. spring. Right. Well, uh, lucky situation there for them, certainly. Indeed. All right. Well, a Vietnam prisoner of war got a very special gift this Christmas. He received a mo memorial bracelet with his name that was made more than 50 years ago. Don, the gift is from a woman he's never met, but who's known his name for decades. Yeah, Missy McCardo Rovinelli was looking for jewelry in her Lake Worth home when a piece she wasn't looking for flew out of the box. <laughs> 50 years ago, she bought a bracelet with the name and rank of someone who was listed as MIA. We all remember those MIA bracelets, and that was one of them. Well, she tried for years to give it back to his family with no luck, but this year she was finally able to reach them. She re ro reached Robert DeMorris's daughter and told her she wanted to send it back to them to let him know she had honored him all those years ago. You've had a friend you never knew who never forgot you in your bravery. Thank you for your service. Missy. So you were him. Bracelet w the was bracelet obvious. was mailed out to Commander Doremus in oh, time to get it under his tree. Oh my gosh, I love that story. Yes. Well, a Pennsylvania pizza shop held a contest for free pizza for a year. Yum. Well, to their surprise, their gift was given back to them. Mario's Pizza decided to hold a contest for the free pizza, and a computer randomly selected the winner out of the 1,200 people who did sign up. But the winner didn't keep it all for himself. He gave it away to food banks. And once the shop heard about his actions, they decided to go along with it and give him and the food bank both free pizza for a year. Wow. The winner says he just wanted to help people out who needed it more than he did. Oh, it's good to hear that people are helping others when they get gifts. Here's a game the Miami Dolphins were watching closely. The Bucks basically out of the playoffs, but not totally. Kansas City taking on Denver. And if Kansas City beat Denver, the Dolphins would clinch the one of the AFC wild cards. You see here. One of the newest stars in the NFL, Tyreek Hill, going 70 yards on the handoff for a building Kansas City lead. And then fourth quarter, they're up 27-10. Don Terry Poe, the 350-pound lineman, takes the handoff and then does a Tim Tebow jump pass for the touchdown, capping the Kansas City Chiefs win, putting the Dolphins, the Miami Dolphins, in the playoff for the first time since 2008. Yes, a lot of Dolphin fans in Florida because they were the only team for a long time before they were the Jaguars, before they were the Bucks, they were the Miami Dolphins. So a lot of people happy to see them back in the playoffs. And the last person to take them to the playoffs, Chad Pennington, the quarterback, lives here on the Sun Coast somewhere. There you go. There you go. In hiding, not in hiding because he's obviously proud that he took right. them to the playoffs. <laughs> yes, so it's not football weather here, though, no. is it? Uh, well, that's all relative, I guess, to where you are. 85 yeah. is not football with. Hey, yeah, I mean, I it's guess. better than playing in some snow, I, I would say. That's true. But, you know, <laughs> I guess it would be more like a, uh, not, not spring training. What do they call it? Just training camp. Training right. camp. Right. In yeah. Florida in August. Yeah. You right. know, temperature is pretty warm. Uh, but we're going to have another warm one today. Things change, though, by the end of the week. We'll talk about it. Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a CRV for $219 during Wild's final clearance. Just $219 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's gotta be wild.
ABC 7's My Suncoast News app is better than ever with a brand new design that's faster and easier to use. Download our free My Suncoast News app on your mobile device at your app store of choice. Powered by the I Associates, providing sight for life. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I call Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. Sarasota, we're uncorking something special at Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room. Shop in a relaxed atmosphere with our wine specialists. You'll find 1,000 international wines, 200 under $20. National brand of boutique liquors at competitive pricing. Handcrafted beers. Stop by Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room today and let us show you something exceptional. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed, Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Google GoWildHonda.com. Lease a Civic for $179 during Wild's final clearance. Just $179 and zero down. Now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda, Sarasota. It's gotta be wild. Happy Monday to you. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone, and we're looking at a current temperature of 66 degrees with fair skies outside. Dew point at 64, humidity at 93%. Not much of a wind coming out of the east and northeast at 7 miles per hour. That's going to be the case today with this easterly wind. High pressure in control. It's been in control for the last several days, bringing us warm conditions. So we're going to experience warm and pleasant conditions today, but on the muggy side, thanks to that easterly wind and high pressure and control. Highs topping out in the low to mid 80s. You know, yesterday's high, we topped out at 85, tying the record from last year. Our average is 72, so well above that. And then change comes to our forecast as we get into Thursday night into Friday with a cold front coming down from the northwest, and we're going to experience temperatures cooler than average. And also this radar will look a little different by the latter part of this work week. But right now it's all quiet. Nothing to show you here other than a few sprinkles off the east coast of Florida off of Jacksonville. And that is about it. Future cast shows the clouds rolling from the east to the west. Thanks to this area of high pressure situated to our north. Areas of high pressure work clockwise and that's why we have that general uh, easterly pattern in the atmosphere. The winds blowing from east to west. And really, other than a few high clouds today, we're calling for mostly sunny skies, and that's going to be a trend for the next several days until the cold front comes our way to cloud up the skies, bring us a slight chance of shower activity, and then cool us down. Speaking of a cool down, we have a major storm system up here in the upper Midwest. The front side of the storm, where it's warm, well, the surge of warm air coming up from the south, causing some heavy rain around Chicago into Michigan, but this moisture wraps around and to the north side of the storm where it's cold up here in Canada and that rain turns into snow and the back side of the system we've got some very heavy snow coming down North Dakota and Minnesota also this system so tightly wound the winds are very very strong winds uh, gusting about 40 to some areas 50 miles per hour here in the upper plains so quite a system here check the delays at the airports 
other than maybe 15 minute delay is really not a big deal at this time. But you can see it's 53 here in St. Louis out in front of the storm system on the backside, 32 in Minneapolis, 7 in Minot as that northerly wind comes down the backside. But that's for them. For us, we're in paradise. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s is pretty good. You can take the boat out. And this is what your forecast will be for today for doing that. Uh, easterly, northeasterly wind at 10 knots. Sea is two feet just offshore with a light chop in the bays and inland waterways. 79 at the beach today, mostly sunny skies, but don't forget to put your sunscreen on with that UV index at 9. 83 will be our high, but some areas will be even warmer than that today. There you go. The next several days looking pretty good if you like the sunshine. But then the cold front comes our way Thursday night into Friday morning. Drops our temperatures, and look at that. Our high on Friday, only 65. Remember, our average is 72, so we'll be below our average high on Friday. And then we rebound back into the upper 70s by the first day of 2017. All right, taking a look at Suncoast Roadways. Thanks, Josh. Everything is uh, moving along. No issues or delays. Every route you'd want to take wherever you're going seems like it would get you where you want to go in good stead and no problems in Manatee County. And as you head down into Sarasota County, that too is moving along without any problems. Remember, no school today, and a lot of government offices are closed, so there will be more people on the roadways throughout the days in different areas that you don't expect. Now, whether it's at a salon or out on the beach, there's plenty of ways to get a good tan here in Florida, but a new study shows that a cancer linked to tanning of all kinds may be on the rise. Researchers writing in the journal JAMA Dermatology found that rates of the deadliest form of skin cancer, melanoma, are on the rise. The research is based on seven years of data. The researchers projecting that more than 10,000 Americans are expected to die this year from skin cancer alone. It's been linked to exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun and other sources. The $10 million grant from the Center for Disease Control is enabling a new research program here in Florida. Yeah, the University of Florida will lead the new program and focus on finding ways to stop the spread of diseases like Zika. The college is just one of four participating, and professors are in the process of forming a research team. That team will be working alongside with the CDC and the Florida Department of Health, all in hopes of diving deeper into details surrounding the Zika outbreak and to try to come up with a cure. We have a lot to be proud of. Um, these are four universities in the state that have come together, and each, each university has their own. Uh, research excellence that have they, they brought to the table and together this is this is pretty much incomparable. Travel related cases of Zika became all too common across our state this summer and more than 50 locally transmitted Zika related cases have been documented in South Florida since July. Now with each university sharing ideas about ways to combat the disease officials say they hope Floridians can rest a little easier. And British pop star George Michael has died at the age of 53. Now, as publicist said, the 1980s music icon passed away peacefully at his home over the holidays. Although he had not been ill, it, is, it, it was a surprise, but they do say that it was a peaceful passing. Michael, best known for being half of the British boy duo Wham!, performing several chart-topping hits like Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go and Careless Whisper, but also he went solo and had You Gotta Have Faith and other songs that uh, were chart-toppers. He sold over 100 million records. I do know that song, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Yeah, that was like 1984, I think. Well before my time. <laughs> but <laughs> I still know the not song. mine. I was about 30 back oh, then. Oh, <laughs> well, that's okay. Well, if your own Christmas festivities with your families weren't crazy enough yesterday, Next year, you can get a dose of it on the big screen. Wow, interesting. Yes, if you were a fan of Bad Moms, I hear it's a good movie. Kristen Bell, Mila Kunis, and Katherine Hahn will be back for a Bad Moms Christmas next year. Oh, It'll be in theaters November 3rd, 2017. You know what? I actually have not seen Bad Moms, but I really want to see it. And I could only imagine how Bad Moms Christmas version has got to be. Yes, so that'll be, be like the vacation of this era. <laughs> Uh, All right, stay with us. We're coming back. At SWC Properties, we pride ourselves in providing to you the very best in customer satisfaction and the secrets getting out. Maybe that's why so many people have chosen to list their homes with our friendly and qualified agents. After all, it only makes sense to list with a growing agency that markets in so many places. To list your home with SWC, give us a call at our office.
and ask for Kimberly King. It's been an emotional time politically and socially this year. But during a season when hearts are a little more open to love, we want to talk about good things to believe in. We believe in teamwork and building trust. We believe every cloud has a silver lining. We believe in treating everyone with respect. We believe in community involvement. We believe every person has a story. We hope you believe too. Happy Holidays from ABC7, your Suncoast News. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors, guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything but with couch coat my couch is always protected looking as good as it did the day i bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now Selling your home? Insist on a 3D showcase tour from Gulf Shores Realty. Virtual tours are flat and boring and look more like a slideshow than a tour. A 3D tour from Gulf Shores Realty is like actually walking through the home without the drive. Get instant access to your next home from any device. Multiple views give home buyers a perspective like no other. For a limited time, mention ABC7 and Gulf Shores Realty will provide a complimentary 3D tour with your new listing. All right, welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We have some uh, headlines that we're looking at. The scene of uh, a fire there is, uh, is right? I don't know, it's a, there was a shooting Traffic. there. Traffic. It was a, uh, a shooting that we're looking at right there. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office looking for information into a drive-by that left one person injured in Bradenton. Also, an investigation to how a possible meth lab ended up at the scene of a fire over the weekend. We'll tell you who officials believe is responsible for setting it up in the space. And also now, taking a look at traffic right now. Remember, schools are off. A lot of people are off. Businesses closed to celebrate the Christmas holiday. And uh, so there will be less rush hour traffic probably, but more people trying to get to the mall. And everything right now is moving along without any problems, but we'll keep you updated throughout the morning. Josh? All right. Well, I still can't believe George Michael passed away. So here's your wake me up before you go go forecast. Highs topping out in the lower to mid 80s today. You got to have faith in this forecast, right? It was mostly sunny skies uh, for the next several days until the careless whisper of a cold front comes our way on Thursday night into Friday morning and drops our temperatures to below our average high of 72. You see that 65 degrees on Friday, but we rebound into the upper 70s by Sunday, which is the first day of 2017. All right, thank you, Josh. Now, it's not a question that cats and selfies take over social media, and a new app may not really help. A Canadian developer has created an app that now allows cats to take pictures of themselves. It's called Candid Camera, and it allows the cat to take their own picture. A lot of different <laughs> technologies are involved that attract cats to your device, like fish in a tank, a mouse scampering, 
a can opener opening the cat food, and even a laser light. When the cat approaches your smart tablet, the camera snaps and then the picture is sent to you. Now half the proceeds from the sale of the app go to the SPCA, and that's the good news of the story because I think what we need to get for cats is not selfie cameras, but leashes. My dog has to be on a leash, so why don't these cats have to be on a leash? There you that's go. what I want to know. That's the question of the day. I think it was called Candid Catmara. Oh, Catmara? Camera. Catmara. Oh, Catmara. They should make these for dogs, mostly because I would love to see selfies of my dog. <laughs> I see my dogs enough. I love them, oh, but I don't need to man. see them taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? But if a cat has one of those, they're a cool cat, I guess. Yeah. 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 Cool cat. Cool cat strolling around on a Catmara. <laughs> No? But okay. what, what about what about uh, Frosty the Sandman? Frosty the Sandman. I <laughs> tweeted that picture, so hopefully you guys can go find that on yes, there. Yes, your first Sandman. My first yeah. Sandman. Usually I'm making snowman, so. Well, there you go, Josh. One quick look. Uh, today it's going to be hot again, but it's going to get cold by the end of the week. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a, a above average of 72. We're going to top out in the low to mid 80s and then by the uh, end of the work week we're calling for highs only in the mid 60s oh, excellent well, thank you very much everybody have a great day and a great day off most people are off as we said and enjoy yourself and we'll leave you with that picture from our tower game